Okie dokie. Good day, folks. Here we have a Chrysler Town & Country, and the customer states that it has a battery light on. Oh, doesn't even, doesn't even crank. Hmm, okay. Let's get the jumper box. Okay, hood rod. Hmm. It's not supposed to do that at all. Let's see if it cranks now. Nope. Not a... Okay, let's find a meter of some sort to uh, determine what the battery level is. I'll, uh, I'll change my phrasing. This isn't exactly a meter. It is a modernized test light. Hmm, 7.2 volts. That's uh, not gonna work. First things first, I'm going to install some auxiliary electrons. And negatory. Let's power up the machine. Low. Um, last time I used this meter, a lot of folks were asking me where I got it from. Um, I believe I bought this one from the USA Tool Truck. I, uh, I found a similar one on Amazon. I will uh, leave a link for the one that I found that's like this in the description down below in case anybody wants one. Yeah, 11.5 volts now, so it might start. Let's go try it out. Hmm, makes clicks now. Yeah, I just wiggled those clamps. Let's try it again. No, it's not gonna do it. Time for more auxiliary electrons. You know, the only thing better than one jump box is two jump boxes. Try it now. And ignition. Ah, there it goes. Okay, let's get these uh, boxes off of here. And we'll get this mopo in the shop. But before I go anywhere, I want to check charging voltage real quick. Okay, it's only making nothing, bad connection. I got a feeling that this nader is not nading, so I'm gonna get this in the building. Okay, well first things first, I need to clean and tighten these terminals because that does not look very good in there. Much better. And with this terminal installed all the way, instead of just sitting there on top, it's now tight and does not move. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean this one while I'm at it. good and the other one's good. 
before anything else happens on this car, I'm going to charge this new battery, because like you guys just saw, it was at seven volts or so. I've got the charger connected, and let's go ahead and throw some, some amps in this thing. We'll do a 40 amp charge. Or no, it's stop, there we go. Function, function, 40 amp start. It is 100% depleted, and we're up to 11.9 volts from seven, and it's only taking it's only taking two amps right now. Okay, well, I'll check back in a little while, and we'll see if amperage comes up on this. All right, looks like voltage came up some. Now we're taking some amps. Let's see what voltage says. Yep, almost 13 volts is what this is sending into the battery and nearly 40 amps it's a uh, it's going in now good because i was really not going to be happy if this brand new battery decided that it was junk and the customer wouldn't have been happy either stop that it's been about a half hour of charging let's go and uh start it back up see what what kind of action the nader is giving us Jeez. bolts it's that's still too low okay so uh, I'm kind of waiting right now as to uh, what the owner customer is going to decide to do and uh, once they call us back that might be her right now Do do do. once she calls us back we can uh, we'll make a decision on what direction to go with this alrighty so lady called us back and we told her what we found and she does not want to have any future trouble with this thing and decided that it is, in, it is in her best interest at this point to replace this alternator. So that is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm gonna end up starting by letting this thing cool off some because it's been running. I'm gonna pull the upper radiator hose, yank the fan shroud out, and that's gonna give me some space to work with. And then I can unbolt that unit and sneak it out through the top. Okay, down below, I've got the coolant draining out. While that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and use this opportunity to remove this intake ducting and some of this other stuff that's in my way so I can start reaching down towards those alternator bolts. Space saver filter, that's what it is. And of course, it's bungee cord time now. Just to keep things from flopping back where it's supposed to be. There we go, just to keep things out of the way. Okay, I believe enough coolant has drained. I can start to uh, pull this hose off. Come here. And I'm gonna pull it off on this side too, just to make sure I have plenty of here. Still, there's still some fluid in there. I'll let it drain for a couple more minutes. Still hot. Oh, it's warm. I'll get this overflow tank out next. That just pops out like so. Alrighty, with that all out of the way, that gives me access to the clips that hold 
this fan shroud in. And I've just got to press the clip in, pull up on the shroud, and then do the same on the other side. After I get this uh, connector removed for the fans. Forgot that part. Getting Chrysler. Oh yeah, I'm getting Chrysler big time now. If it wants to come out, it really does. It's not gonna happen. in the way a lot. There we go. Okay, with all the obstructions removed, now I can sort of get some access to the bolts for the solvernator. Looks like there's two up top, probably two more down below. I think it should come out with relative ease now. But first, I have to get the belt off. After some poking around, I found the tensioner. It's way, way back over there. So I'm gonna try to reach it with a ratchet from up top. I think it's designed to get removed through the wheel well, but I think I can sneak my arm in there to get it out. We'll find out. Okay, ratchet going in with my right hand. And a pry bar, oh, that's hot, I touched something hot. I'll come down with a pry bar to push it. There it is. Come on. Uh oh. It's going the wrong way. detention the tensioner and then I can get the belt off I think yep got it okay so this nader's held on with three bolts uh, first one come here that's our first one right there it's like a 12 mil and then the uh, the two two bolts up top right here I lied, that bolt's a 13, not a 12. Let's see if I can get it. Nifty little trick, eh? Before I get too crazy with taking this thing out, I need to get the connector off and uh, get the, the power cable disconnected. Yo! 
Yeah, really? What I? Oh, now I need to know what the inside is. Okay. Let's get one more, one more wire off and I can start to wiggle this nader out of its home. I think that's a 13. Yeah, yeah, 13 it is. Um, incidentally, I have disconnected the battery again. So I'm not, uh, I'm not sticking my metal wrench on a, on a live wire. Come on, Chrysler, give me that nut back. Got it. Got to slide forward off that stud. Oh, and it's too hot to touch. Shoot. Not your fingies. Yeah, it's burning my fingies. Oh, come on. Anyway, push it back in real quick. We can slide back into place if there's something in the way. No? No, I think it's... No, I don't know what it is. Okay, let's pick this up and look at it from the bottom side. Why are you not wanting... Okay, there's a... There's an AC compressor bolt kind of in the way, but... It doesn't make much sense. I think that's exactly what it's getting stuck on. Oh, yep, it was getting stuck on that bolt boss for that compressor. I got it now. Okay, coming back down. No, oh, I hey, I'm the best pour in the game. No, I had it. No, one day that you get the. Hang on, it's fucking stuck again. Ah. Yeah. It's working. Sort of. It's hot. It's alive. It's, it's evil, is what it is. That Three. Come out, devil nature. All right, more pry bar. Well, that fails. Pry bar. 60% of the time, it works every time. Okay, it's free. Oh, it's hot. Uh-oh. There's nowhere for it to come out. That's not cool. There we go. All right, no radiator damage. Yay. Ooh, okay. And comparing to the new one, it said it looks pretty good. Connectors. Connectors are identical-ish. Okay, this one passes visual inspection. Let's install it.
to touch base with you about that. Either. Oh yeah, reassembly is gonna go way more better because this part's not scalding hot. And I know I could have waited till it cooled off, but the world of automotive repair doesn't usually function like that. Flick. And I've already got the nut on the front side on. Thank you. Okay. Yep. I got the keys. Yeah. Okay, I think I might have just lost a scene, the GoPro Pros. Um, if I did, then that is why you're watching this clip right here. But I've got the alternator bolted in. All three bolts are tight. I have the uh, power wire connector installed, and I've got the uh, PCM connector already installed. All right, now for my next trick, since I got the nader bolted in, I'm going to finagle this belt back into place. I certainly hope my hands don't get in the way too much. Uh, ow. That was hot. Oh, how am I going to go about this? I need more light. Okay, more light achieved. Now I think I can see what I think I'm trying to do. That was a wasted effort because it just fell off again. Okay. I'm trying to get the belt lined up onto the power steering pulley way out in the back. It's hard to see and it's hot in there. Okay, I think that's looking good. All is prepped except for the loosening of the tensioner. So here it goes. And alternator belts. On one more pull. Yeah, I think I got it. Let's just check all the pulleys once more. Looking good. Crank, AC, water pump, alternator, and out back over there is the power steering. That's good. Let's just fetch my ratchet. Oh, hot. We can get out of here. All right. Okay, it's fan shroud reinstallation time. All right, fan, you're not going to give me any grief, are you? I'm going to go in your home like you're supposed to. Hey, it listened. What do you know? It's beautiful. Click. Coolant bottle, you're next. This should be minimal on the grief. It's got three tabs and just slides into place. Just slip it in there like that. And if I recall, this hose went underneath of that wire and plugs in over here. And of course, 
right there. Plugs in here. Almost. Come here. There we go. And there's that that light again. It never stays where I put it. I had to delete the part where I put the airbox back in because I was getting copyrighted over the music. Oh, it came out. Try again. There. Gonna forget the band clamp. Got it. Okay. Well, let us uh, plug this battery back in, and then start it and see what kind of voltage we get with this new nader. All right. No screwing around. Let's uh, let's do this. Starting the engine. Full AC. Headlights. High beams. Let's check voltage. And the fans are running. Got to make this quick because I don't have coolant in there yet. 1385, 86. That's way more better. I like it. All right, now all is for the part everyone's been waiting for. Here it goes. We're going for an altitude record this time, okay? We're going all the way up. No spilly spilly. Except for that part that I spilled just now. But that's the last spill. No more. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm going to lose it. I can feel it. The liquid is starting to slosh around in the bottle. I'm going up a little higher. Little high, oh, I lost it. Fucking fail. I think I'm like 22 inches. Going higher. I can't get any higher, I need a ladder. Oh, fail. Okay, enough screwing around. Look, I'm spilling more of it down here than I was up top. That's cool. Come on, hurry up, let's get done. Okay, I'm gonna go start the engine to help to uh, purge some of the air out of this system. Nice and shiny. Beautiful. Alrighty. I'm gonna rinse off the dirt while I'm here. Whee! You can't spray off an engine. Alrighty, nice to have something complete. Okay folks, well this one is all done and I'm all done. You guys have been here through this whole video so I bet you're all done too. If you guys like this video, please let me know about it by tappy tapping that thumbs up button. If you did not like this video, don't waste the thumbs down button on it. Let me know in the comment section down below. That being said, again, thank you guys for watching. And as always, don't forget, have a great day. Almost forgot. Time travel. Phew, shut down. See you later, doge.